A brutal beating outside a bar. Now the search is on for a wanted man. Daytona Beach police say they need help tracking down the guy who knocked another man unconscious. That punch caused permanent damage. News 6's Lauren Korn spoke to the victim's mom about the attack. This is like hurting every day. We have to relive what he's going through. Deanne Thibodeau says this one punch outside the Coyote Bar has left her 22-year-old son blind, disabled, and without a memory. Thibodeau sharing a picture of Derek before the attack and a picture of who he is now. It's like 50 first dates. It's um, every time you leave the room and come back in, he's happy to see you because he doesn't realize that he just saw you. Basically, all he does is just sit around the house and want to know how old he is, what year it is, and is he ever going to see? Police say Thibodeau and his attacker were arguing over jewelry that Thibodeau was trying to sell, eventually shaking hands and Thibodeau walking away. However, investigators say the two continued arguing when the suspect crossed the street and punched Thibodeau in the face, knocking him unconscious. I found my friend will wake up by now, but uh, he's, still, he's still knocked out and we just want to make sure he's okay. I think he's a coward. Uh, he jumped in the car and left with some of his buddies right after it happened. And investigators say it's been radio silence ever since. Their only lead is a picture from surveillance video of a white or Hispanic man wearing a red hat and jacket driving off in a dark colored car. At this point, like I said, it's been two months. Um, you know, I'll take uh, I'll take any information that anyone's willing to give. Thibodeau says her son currently lives in Lake Wales with his father and due to financial struggles, they don't know her son's prognosis, but she does know that his attacker must come forward. If he's out there, he needs to step up and be a man and take care of his responsibilities, what he's done to my kid. In Daytona Beach, Lauren Korn getting results, News 6.